Hey guys, Patriot back once again tonight. Done with the uh, Outdoorian series for a little while. Getting back to the desktop, which is kind of nice. This is an impromptu video of a little uh, gadget that I received here a couple mornings ago. I've been carrying this light for two days and uh, just thought I'd share my impressions of it. This is a full custom light that I got through the Candle Power forum community and the builder is Mac of Max Customs. This is the SST50 EDC light from the third run. I believe that the third run consisted of 19 aluminum versions, which this one is, and 14 titanium versions. I'm a bit of a performance oriented guy, so I do like the sinking characteristics of the aluminum, and I'm gonna run this flashlight pretty hard, uh, use it on high a lot, so this isn't going to be just a shelf queen. I will be uh, carrying this every day uh, as I have for the last two days. As the name denotes, this is the SST50 LED. Uh, this is a three mode light, uh, low, medium, high with last mode memory. This particular version uh, can be ordered in several different ways, different modes. Uh, I think a three, mo a three mode with uh, 1400 milliamp hour high, a uh, three mode with a 2800 milliamp high, and a five mode that uh, it includes uh, low, medium, high, and strobe uh, and SOS. It is a three mode. There's low. If I leave it on low and turn it off, when I restart it, it comes back on low. That's the, the uh, last mode memory coming into play there. If I turn it on and go immediately to the next, it goes to medium. If I leave it on medium for a few seconds, turn it off. When I turn it back on, it comes back on medium again. And if I turn it off and turn it back on, it comes on to high. And you can see how much the aperture steps down uh, trying to deal with uh, 500 plus lumens there. Oh, and uh, I did do a couple of preliminary tests. I, I had this light out, which is the RRT1 Raptor, rated at 240 lumens. I think it's driven at 1.2. Amps, which, and that's a Cree uh, Q5 emitter, and it registered 32 on my Lux meter, uh, just a ceiling bounce test, very informal, and this one registered at uh, 73. So 32 compared to 73, it's at least double the output. Uh, an LX2 Surefire, uh, just uh, just slightly behind the RRT1 at uh, 29. That'll kind of put it in perspective for some of the, the light junkies out uh, there. The battery I've been using, I, I run this light on medium and uh, low quite a bit, and so I needed something with a little bit longer runtime. That's why I have a conventional AW RCR123 battery in here, 750 milliamp hour. It's a great battery. If you're going to run this light on high, you need to use a IMR cell. Oddly enough, the test that I did, I just stuck it on high for a few seconds. That's uh, what I got my reading on here on the uh, Lux meter at um, 73. So an IMR cell, that should go up a little Options. bit. Options, there was a LED color option or color temperature. The standard, or I guess the cool I should say, is 6500 Kelvin. And uh, the other option is a 4500 Kelvin warm. I went with the 4500 Kelvin warm because, well, I just prefer that color light. Uh, I think it uh, provides a very nice CRI. It uh, makes colors kind of come alive and look three-dimensional. I'm a huge HID junkie, as many of you know, and I love that 4200 to 5000 Kelvin range. This falls squarely in the middle of it, and I can say it's a gorgeous color temperature. I really love it. I'm very happy that I got it. Now, I believe that you do lose a few lumens going to the, to the warmer LED, but I believe I don't believe that it's very significant. I don't know what the percentage of difference is or how many lumens you lose, but I, I don't think it's much. This does have the option of a titanium clip on it. That is a $30 option. The most amazing thing about this light, I think, is the price. I don't know how Mac does it, but this light is $150 
plus a $30 titanium clip uh, puts it right at 180 Now compare that to the MSRP on a Surefire LX2 or even a, a backup, uh, an E1B or something like that. I believe uh, that's a 149 or a 139 MSRP and the LX2 is 195 so it kind of falls right in the middle of, of that of those two. The interesting thing is this is a full custom light. I mean everything on here, the fit, the finish, the the parts, everything, the quality, uh, it's, it's really um, extraordinary. You'll notice that uh, when I tighten down the head that the that the seam there, the gap between the head and the body virtually disappears. That's the attention to detail that Mac puts into this these creations. This has a fairly deep 20 millimeter reflector. Uh, it's not a throw light, it's not a throw machine. That's a combination of the SST50 and this orange peel reflect, reflector used. The depth of the of the reflector itself does help to tighten up the beam a little bit but again this is not a throw light it's not going to compete with a, a LX2 it's a 3.8 inches in overall length which is slightly shorter than a E1B backup a surefire so it's pretty amazing to have 500 plus lumens in something this size again I'll be carrying this uh, every day at work so I'll probably post a an update somewhere along the line and uh, let you know how, how it's doing but uh, as with every Mac product that I've ever owned, I've never had a single issue or problem. Okay guys, just wanted to show you quickly, I'll probably post a link as well to Mac's subforum here, but uh, what you want to do is go to the Candle Power Forum's main page and scroll down the, uh, the front here till you get to custom and, custom and modified lights and uh, go down to the CPF Custom Flashlight Builders and Modders. Go over to Max Customs, click on Max Customs. You can see here the third run, which is closed, as well as the first and second run. But if you want to go find out what the story on this light is, go in there and you'll see links for the first run and the second run. Click on those and you'll have uh, more information than you can deal with. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I've got some more flashlight videos on the way in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching as usual. Patriot out.